stand like right there in the fire pot. Hello. Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday to every one of you. If you're joining us today, I'm Philip. Kathy here. And today we just want to talk about myths and myths and misconceptions that are known in fitness. Yeah? All those things people say that yeah, you can't do this or you're supposed to do this, whatever you've heard from anyone that you think needs clarification, this is your chance to raise it up. Ask your questions. So we can at least enlighten you. Yes, we're also learning in the process. We are not saying that we know everything. But every every little thing that we can assist and, and make clearer, let us know what are those myths and misconceptions you've heard about. Uh, like some people say, you're not supposed to work out in the evening. It's better to work out in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there's so many, <laughs> so, so many uh, mis- misconceptions and myths. So we are here just to, let's talk it out. What have you heard that is truly, truly people live by it? Yeah, and they've been thinking that that's the way to do things uh, in the fitness fraternity. Share with us some of those myths and let us know. Yeah. Be honest. Eh? <laughs> yes, <laughs> as we will try our very best to be honest. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So last week we were talking about, uh, we went deeper into, we started, this is our third session since we started. The first one we went into the, you know, just if you're starting off, how do you, your program for those who missed the first sessions you can go back and just look at what we did there then we came and covered on the principles you know terms issues to do with frequency intensity all those things that you know as you're creating a program because we thought as a beginning it's good to let you know it's a long journey but you have to start it right eh? putting the foundations yes. into the, the right place the deeper your roots go the stronger you are and yeah. the more chances of you surviving throughout your program eh? So today's topic is is, is is a bit fun, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a bit chilly here. We are in Machakos. We have been here since and before the quarantine and it's beautiful, it's lovely. However, uh, having stayed here, we we did have our it was you know just starting how we can get our fitness, getting out of the norms of our day-to-day work. <clears throat> It, it took some adjusting, and I know as well for you. So this is why we came up with this platform. Excuse me. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> for learning for that. So eh? this is why we came up with this platform, so that we could be able to share uh, our journey, and also we, we can also just be able to empower you at home. So today's topic, you want to start off? Yes, we want to demystify one of the, one of the most common myths, eh? Let me start. Maybe most of us do this mistake also. When you're working out, some of us hold our breath, eh? and we're told, hold your breath. Eh? Hold Shkia, your breath. Kaza. Kaza, 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 kaza. <laughs> Ever heard of that? <laughs> People are holding their breath. Uh-huh. Yes, as you work out, it's, it's very important that you breathe. Yeah, You're supposed to. There's two faces to working out. Eh? There's the positive and the negative. Always think of that. Eh? And that also implies, as you breathe, eh? there's a... Eh? The contraction and the... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> eh? I lost that one. Contract. Eh? Eh? Contract and... And, and, as and expansion, yes. yes. Yes, so it's important as you work out that you, you breathe because your body needs oxygen, you know. Yeah. There's, your body needs fuel. There's systems, there's, you know, reactions and stuff happening which need that fuel. Need oxygen. Uh, oxygen, yeah. yeah. To help you function well. So every time you're doing this... Eh? Every time you're working out, and, and even when you're stretching, some of us do that mistake. So that when you're you, holding, when you stretch, breath. you hold your breath. It's even like at the stretch, pain, mm-hmm. even your face is kazaing. <laughs> even at the stretch, try your best to breathe, breathe. so that your body further. So it's very important that you breathe all the time, all the time. You're doing an exercise. I can see Elvis here. Joe Miles, we see you. Elvis is asking a question, but we shall be answering all those questions later. Yeah. Okay. So, as you continue, yes, always breathe yes. in and out freely. Just the normal way. Don't think about it so much. Some of us want to think so hard. During the mm. contraction is when you're breathing out or in? 
when let's say you're doing the bench press, eh? Yeah. So as you pick your weight, breathe in as you bring your weight down, and breathe out as, as you your bring muscles, your weight up. As your muscles contract. Okay. So you remember that it's a I'll great tip, that. and also it just allows you just to be able to go through your workout effectively. Because if you're holding your breath, even your mind is not relaxed because there's lack of oxygen. Very, very true. Yeah. So, what do you want to tell us about these myths today? Well, I, I, I'm, my heart is out to the ladies, especially about um, uh, the the big myth about exercising with weights and we we shy away from, even i used to shy away from doing weight training um i love cardio i love my dancing i love uh, running cycling however those aerobic exercises are the, the impact as compared to doing strength training i have realized personally that there's such a great benefit in doing strength training. And, you know, it, 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 it will not make you look more masculine. So, ladies, please. You will not look like Phil. <laughs> no. You, lift your weight, eh? you will not get the biceps when no. you lift your weight. No, eh? we don't have the hormone, testosterone, that growth hormone that men have. We do not have it. Although there's some women who have a more masculine tendency I wouldn't say names out of respect, but that is, it's, it's a uniqueness, you know, but in general, women, you'll not become more masculine because of having a workout, doing strength training. Actually, strength training has great benefits, uh, especially for later years, uh, as we grow older, reducing the chances of osteoporosis yes, and just uh, bone issues. Even yes. Like right. issues yeah. than men right? yeah and and we find that uh, a lot of athletes have great benefit in doing uh, strength training and we have our very own athlete whom i admire a lot you know in a, her own unique way doing uh, strength training uh, this is our very own uh, evelyn yes evil from evil fitness and she has done amazing with this in the sport of um, bodybuilding and in the bikini category she looks amazing but that's she's an athlete so her structure and her body goes according to her you know that's her work that's that's her focus she does that monday to monday so even still she has a very feminine build uh, despite doing this uh, you know, competitively, and sometimes someone someone is on season and off season, their body structure is completely different. Um, other women who do different sport have different styles. Yeah, like if it's Marcia Vieira who does the bodybuilding, not bodybuilding, powerlifting. powerlifting. Yes, Marcy, uh, big thumbs up to you representing uh, all those years in the Olympics. And I have someone who's very close to me, um, Della, who does, who plays basketball. They every it's athlete Monday body combat class. You've yes, seen the body combat class. Body combat, and these are women who are very athletic, and their body structures you can see it. And uh, weight training is of great, great benefit, ladies. So please engage, indulge. Don't be afraid of weight training. You'll just get a nice tone of the arms, or whatever part of your body. In fact, I'm going to touch on something about sport reduction later. But please don't be afraid of weight training. Very, very true. And well said. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Yeah. You need to balance it. Eh? Yeah. Don't just do the weights. And, and the cardio and forget about stretching, you know, it's, it, it has to be a holistic, holistic. kind of approach. Eh? Yes. So when you do it, just focus on the five components. When you go back to some of the topics we covered, yeah. you can get some more insights on that so that when you're doing a program and when you're exercising, you try and balance it around. There's also issues to do with mobility, balance, coordination, you know, there are small details, but very important because yeah. these help a lot in the way we walk, the way we, you know, just doing normal activities, you know, daily activities. So it's always remember to balance that. Eh? So yeah. as our ladies, go for that weight because yeah. it will strengthen your bones. Yeah, There's... It gives you that nice tone yes. all over. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so something else I really wanted to touch on, eh? and I think it's relevant to this period because most of us claim that uh, 
without paying for a gym or without a trainer you cannot achieve your fitness goals how true is that mm. <laughs> how true is that those of us who've been staying at home Coaches the last three months yeah. uh-huh. it's been about three months of just being at home tell us what you've been doing but is it true that if if you don't pay for a gym and if you can't afford to pay for a gym and you can't afford to pay to have a trainer beside you then you'll not achieve your fitness goal i think i think that's a very big and wrong myth <laughs> and especially now that we have been given an additional 30 30 days, days. yes so being far from your trainer <laughs> you know how 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 do you manage yes you you actually it's think about transforming the entire body you know just think about its transformation of even the habits eh? yes once you look at the bigger picture mm-hmm. the long term the end result you know why are you coming into this yeah then you realize that even even playing a sport and even trainers i'd want to insist that trainers it's, it's a good time to even tell your clients it's good that people are coming out in groups going for runs to the parks to aboretum to karura keep it up guys keep it up we're very proud of you all keep it up but also it's important for the trainers to just maybe tell their clients that you know even brisk a brisk walk cycling you know eh? playing a sport you know if you are you love your soccer and you can go out to the ball and play with the kids eh? if you have a pool at home swimming you know there's so many things that you can do that don't even need someone to be there and keep an eye you know so with all the knowledge also that you've learned during the time that you've been going to the gyms can you use that can you put it to use and and self train and self train yourself yeah just focus on why you're doing it then mix it up make it fun yes make it fun don't stick to just you love your cardio you run every morning and you want to run from january to december no yeah. that's that's not right yeah make it fun it? decide to go for a swim on the weekend Maybe not during this period. <laughs> <laughs> but swimming is safe. Yes. Swimming is safe. It's just that people have to put the right, uh, the right social distance. If you swim lengths and you can find a pool, um, just do your research and yeah, see. But when it comes to exercise, I think the self motivation plays a great, great role in it, it, pushing yes. you to the next level rather than being completely dependent on your coach however i think it's good for people to reach out to the professionals ask for guidance get go on online classes with people who are successful and people who are well trained so anything else you want to say on that Hmm. The motivation actually comes from deep within. Eh? We might push you as hard as we need to, but if you're not motivated, eh? yes, Austin, I see you. <laughs> Austin says self-training is Me hard. hard. Hey. <laughs> it takes more, yes. It, it, yeah. has, it has to come from within. And once you are on that journey, on that road, eh, it's, it's, it's not easy to go back eh? <laughs> because the moment you can do it on your own then then whatever happens covid or not you are able to work out wherever you are so it's just it's it's reward yourself you know the small things you can do monitor your progress yes try and eat healthy try and push yourself harder beyond because you remember with working out eh, just maybe just as life you know eh? working out Exercise should just be a celebration of what your body can do. So don't go there wow, with that that's mind. Deep. Eh? Don't go there just with the intention of I want to go so hard, you know. Yeah. Eh? Enjoy. Sometimes when your your mood's a bit low, other factors come in. Eh? Maybe you didn't sleep well, you didn't recover well. So just learn your body. It's listening to your own body. Then slowly build up. You know, it's a gradual progression. Remember, it's not something that you you will rome wasn't built in one day so just take your time push a little bit more even do things you've never done before yes try try a mobility class try something that is challenging your body weight you know hang up there pull yourself and uh, see how many you can do if you're doing five today that's good enough you're better than someone who's just sitting on the couch eh? if you can do tomorrow you can do five more (laughs) <laughs> uh, <laughs> that means you'll be doing 10 eh? yeah. and if you keep going you have 15 by the time you're doing 20 reps comfortably on your own that's a big step that's a big step so just think long term and and make it fun and uh, challenge yourself you know it's about challenge because when your body is to grow yes for you to become stronger you have to 
always add more strain to whatever you're doing yeah make it more intense a little bit more intense maybe the trick is in the yes the trick would be in how to measure the intensity and you don't have weights like Austin is saying. There's no equipment. Jenga <laughs> Maui. <laughs> Austin, 20 liters of water. Yeah. That's, that's have, a good weight. Eh? You have if, a sofa. If you Lift have two it. bottles of those, <laughs> yeah, you can do so much from your house. Eh? Sawa, sawa, eh? Thank you, Nicholas, for watching. Uh, thank you for your comments. Nicholas says, big up and you're doing a great job. I'm following this mentorship. Nicholas is a trainer who's in in the arab arab countries and, Hi, and, and, and 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 even we pray for them during this time because you know even them they're just going back to normal and, and i think they're working easy. on 50 percent right now okay yeah so, back to work thank you for watching all the way nicholas we really appreciate and you're doing a good job with the kids there as well keep it up eh? Kamau, tumekuona. Thank you, Kamau, and you're doing a good job as well. I think someone had asked a question about neck neck exercise. Yes, we can tackle that before we go to the third myth. Eh? Nicholas was, no, Elvis, it's Elvis Oketch yeah. eh, was asking about neck exercises. Okay. Mm-hmm. With neck exercises, unless you're a wrestler, I don't know why you'd want to do those neck exercises. Pindusha to shingo, pande pande. But so it's good. No. It's good. You, it's you, every yeah. muscle of your body needs to be trained. Yes. But uh, some of the options that we have for working out the neck is probably you can. There's ways you can. You know, just. You know, your neck is part of your spine. Eh? And it's a very delicate, delicate part of the body. Yeah. It's a very delicate part of the body. And sometimes you see people after working out, then they want to rotate their necks. It's not safe. You are advised to take, if you're going slowly. one direction, take it slowly. Mm-hmm. Come to the other side slowly. But with the neck, you can be creative. You can look for like a strap or something and hang a weight. And, you know, you or can use do... use the resistant band. Yes, the bands are a good option for neck workouts. You can just use some bands. Yeah, they because really it's, work not, well. it's not too heavy on your neck. Yes. Yeah. But also remember when you're doing things like the shrug, you know, the neck, the, the traps go all the way. Muscles. Yes, the muscle goes all the way. So when you're doing shrugs, also strengthens your neck. That's why bodybuilders, you know, getting a shirt that can fit <laughs> is usually <laughs> a hard thing is because their necks actually end up getting some muscle. Yeah. But wrestlers do like much more. Wrestlers do much more. If you're yeah. really interested in, in, in checking out, just, you know, but don't try this at home. Eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's what you call the bridge on the neck. You know, when you're on your back, then you, you your head is on the ground. It's a very, very hard position. But wrestlers do that and they do the press. They do so, so much. This is not something I advise. Sports specific, actually. It's not something I advise someone to do from home. Yeah. But just keep it simple. Just keep your neck up and down. Even swimming, you know, you're forced to keep your head. Eh? You feel the strain in your neck. Eh? So, so, so <laughs> Elvis, eh? be safe, but keep it simple. Bands can be a good way to do something for your neck. Eh? Yeah. So as we continue, let's continue on the third myth. What do you want to cover for us now? I want to cover about uh, sport reduction, you know? Okay, that's a big one. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> myth. Ladies, where are you? <laughs> Not ladies, even men. They just want to build their chest alone. <laughs> <laughs> and their biceps. <laughs> to eh? bicep, to pekeake. Uh-huh. Not, you know, uh-huh. exercise is it's 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 interesting. This, yeah, Don't worry, we are in the wild here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are with nature. <laughs> We're enjoying it. Um, so when we're flaring our hands, it's not you we are waving at. It's it's nature coming in our space. However, that said, um, sport reduction is, you know, when people feel that just exercising on the abs, if I do a hundred sit-ups, even two hundred, even a thousand sit-ups, I'm going to get, you know, a flatter tummy, and it's going to be having the six-pack. So sport reduction is it's a myth that we want to just bust, that it's it's not possible. You know, that fat did not just come in one place. It came in the whole body. So if you want to lose weight, do it properly. Reduce on the intake of uh, calories and increase on your activity. So that's the best way to lose weight. And then the exercise enhances what you are doing. So yes, you are what you, you eat. And secondly, As you exercise, you are strengthening your body and the tone of the muscles is, it goes all around. So if you, we, we really encourage people to do holistic exercises. So it's complete. So 
do the compound exercises, do exercises that are going to touch on all parts of the body. So even as you're doing the abs, also when you're engaging and doing your chest exercises or you're doing um, leg workout, engage your core muscles, keep them tight. And that way you're doing a holistic exercise and sport reduction does not it said it's it's actually been researched it it's not effective so if you want to exercise and uh, lose weight or gain muscle um just know that it's affected by your gender whether you're male or female it's affected by your the body structure yeah if you are there are people who are pear shaped yeah it goes down and then wide and there are people who are apple shaped so and then your genetics. Some people are blessed. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we are made so differently. So like we said right at the beginning, just appreciate and accept who you are and then you can start your journey of exercise. So sport reduction is a great myth out there that people feel, let me just work on the lower part of my body and shape my hips or my gluteus muscles. So, <laughs> so no. <laughs> it doesn't work survivor we see you survivor eh? we see you thank you thank you for your kind compliments and just maybe to add a little bit on sport reduction eh? yeah yes allow yourself to be a beginner eh? you have uh -huh. to start somewhere yes yes and and even as you intend to lose that weight it didn't come in within a day you took so long to get where you are but mm -hmm. it's good that you realize you need to do something so just start off slowly and be patient because it's work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Right? The it rewards didn't are happen worth it. overnight. You didn't put on the weight in you know, during this COVID period. Yes, you put on some weight because you're not active as if you have. Some people have lost weight. I know some people who have and they've told me about it by just making taking steps and measures towards that. So if you're looking to lose weight, uh, know that spot reduction is not just doing sit-ups or just doing the squats. Do exercises that are compound, m that move more than one joint. And enjoy your workout. Build it up, like uh, Phil has said. Rome was not built in a day. I mm. think he gave a very nice quote over there that exercise it's, should it's, should be you celebrating celebrating body, celebrating what it can do. So yes. Austin, you're saying twenty <laughs> liter <laughs> bottles are not enough, <laughs> eh? but you are almost ninety kilos, a hundred kilos. Use that weight. You have the weight on yourself. So yeah. <laughs> use your own weight. <laughs> be creative. <laughs> Um, so just as we continue, yes, you can always follow us. You know, we have our YouTube pages. You know, there's Phil Fitness Center. There's Afrobix. Afrobix. Yes, yeah. you can watch videos that Subscribe. will help you. Subscribe. Follow us. Eh? We have our own personal pages. You can follow Philip Namasaka on Kathy. Facebook. Yes. And Kathy Afrobix. Kathy Afrobix, <laughs> eh? the queen of Afrobix. Eh? You can follow her as well. Yeah. And also... Feel free. We have sessions that we're doing online. If you still stuck at home and these 30 days make you feel more frustrated, reach out. Reach out. You can call us on 0720. Yes. 0720-297429. Or you can call us on 0780-297429. Yes. Reach out and let us know how we can help. We are very, very ready to help. Yeah. This is our passion. We are humbled. Eh? We really humbled and, and even we got a picture yesterday in the papers and we thank God because, you know, our mission in life is to spread our gospel of fitness. The more numbers we can reach, the yeah. impact that we can create for you, we, we, we celebrate that. We thank God and we are humbled, yeah, just to keep spreading the word. Eh? So as we continue. Yes. Myths. On the next myth. Back to myths and misconceptions. On the next myth. I think this one is common, eh? Mm -hmm. The guys who claim that... Uh, I can only work out in the morning because when you work out in the morning, you gain more. It's better it's than more someone effective. who works out in the evening. Uh -huh. Who said that? Eh? <laughs> who said that? You remember when you were in school? Eh? Mm -hmm. You remember in school? Did you used to? Were you a morning person or evening? What, what time did you? Prefer? I've always been an evening person. My body is <laughs> awake, like in the middle of the day. Uh, Even when I work on shifts, put me in the afternoon shift. Nico, we buy sana. <laughs> that's that's true for most of us. Some of us just even in school, you remember some guys would wake up very early to read. That's the time they it, it makes sense for them. Yeah. Some would prefer evening sessions. You know, way late after class. That's when some people would stay back and read. 
we are all different. Yes. And when it comes to exercise, it's almost the same. Always think of what did you like to do? Did you like to read in the morning? Were you more comfortable or you'd struggle? It'd take you another 30 minutes to get out of bed. So whatever works for you, if you're even more comfortable working out during the day or at lunchtime, there's no harm. A workout mm. is a workout. Yes. Whether you are in Rome, whether you are in Egypt, <laughs> whether you are in Kenya, <laughs> whether you are in wherever you are, down at the coast. Yeah, activity, fitness. Is activity. Is, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Just play around with how hard you're going, how easy you're going, your body how many clock, times. Yes, what we, works best for you. Yes. In your, in your balance, you might even have your family or children are with you and you have to take care of them. I know many people who have to study with their children in the morning and then they only have time for themselves in the afternoon. So see what works best for you. But that said, it's, it's for me, I'd give an example because I'd prefer to get it done in the morning. You know, for me... Just in case I'd get distracted during the day, let me finish with my workout. So everything, anything else that comes, we cover die. I'm done with my workout. <laughs> you know, I'll not start feeling bad that I didn't train. Yes. So it's 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 okay. Whatever time you have, use it well. Yes. And do something. It doesn't need to take two hours. An hour, forty five minutes. Even 30, depending on the intensity of how your training is, it yeah. can still works. So. What are your goals? It always comes down to what are your goals. Some people, they have to train for four hours because they are, you know, com- in competitive sport, they are athletes. So it's different for someone. You have your working hours, you have your family. So what's the best amount of time that someone can take to exercise? Yeah, that's why, according to the recommendations eh, by the, you know, sadly, most of the research is done by Americans. Eh? We need to up our game here, even <laughs> as Kenyans. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, so these are challenge to even universities like KU, you know. We don't need to always follow the norms of the other side. Eh? Our diet is different. Our food is different. But they recommend, you know, the American College of Sports Medicine. They did a research and they recommend that, you know, working out, Three to four times a week, 30 minutes to one hour is good enough. So, but it boils down to you, your goals, like Kathy said, you know, how hard are you pushing yourself? Some of us can work for 30 minutes and you've done work enough for mm. one and a half hours. But some people for one hour, half of that time is looking at their phone and taking selfies. <laughs> and, you know, so it depends on your goal and yes. how bad you want it. Eh? Yes. So just go for it. And it doesn't matter whether it's morning, it's 2 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock. Even if you have to wake up at midnight and work out, go for it. If that's the time that you have, you do it. Whatever time you're doing something, that's most important. Yeah, Austin is saying that he gained more when he was exercising. I think, yeah, when he was exercising in the evening, gains a less in the morning. Um that one worked for you because you know you you put in some scientific uh, background to it. Rest and recovery very important. So just find out what works best for you. So for some people it's morning, for some people it's evening, and indeed rest and recovery. But let me ask you, Austin. That now that you're used to the morning and you have to travel to Europe, where now times change, <laughs> your morning becomes your evening. Will you stop working out? Because you're in a different time zone, you know. Eh? Think question. about it. Think about it. Over eh? to you, Austin. <laughs> Tell us how you will operate to Kenda America eight yeah. hours behind yeah. us. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sasa, let's continue. Let's continue. What another I myth? Think? Yes. Um, about training on an empty stomach makes you lose even more fat. Where are the ladies at? Where are the ladies? I think at? it's everybody. It's not even <laughs> ladies. Where? Watch corner, ladies. <laughs> this is so lady, eh? <laughs> Okay, those of us who work out on an empty stomach. Uh, why do you no, do that? No, yeah, what they the lose behind fat that? so that people can lose I more chome fat. mafuta. Chome mafuta. See, ile nini kondani kwa stomach. The the glucose. Uh, uh. But you know. Um, as we were researching on this, I found it very interesting that um, just learning the facts, you know, just work with the facts. Your body needs nutrition, yeah? And it, for some runners, like if you're waking up early in the morning, you can't take a meal right before then. But your your meal, your last meal before you went to bed, is very important. You can't eat heavy meal, meat or protein and expect to do very well in your 
long distance running. So it's very important to to know that your body needs some nutrition, but don't exercise on an empty stomach. If you're going running in the morning, um, take a proper. They say they, they talk about the experts talk about having. Um, carbo loading just eating properly you might just even take a, a fruit or just a sip of juice water hydrate 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 All but yes but we find so many times it's such a habit that we see people passing out they don't have energy because of the misconception that uh, if they eat before the exercise they're going to burn more fat. You can't b- burn more fat on an empty stomach. You're going to burn yourself out. It's like saying <laughs> that your car will go faster without fuel. Yeah. yeah. How, yeah. How, how possible is that? Hmm? Your body needs energy. Your body needs nutrition. So just, it's all about the balance. So have take a fruit before, at least an hour before you exercise. If, if you didn't, if you're strained for time and you couldn't get something down at least an hour before take a smoothie take something with that with has enough energy a good pre-workout meal would be uh, an apple an apple is fantastic um, a banana works yes mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> some cereal you some know cereal, some yes. quick cereal Oats. that's easy to is, digest yes yeah. yes at least an hour before but you know like 20 minutes or a few minutes before you need something very light you need energy and having a meal post workout if you didn't manage to take something before do take uh, something after your post workout meal is also very important because your body needs energy Please take care of your bodies, people. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, we see you. Thank you, Chris Rabut, for joining us. We're just talking about myths and misconceptions in the industry. You know, a lot of us hear so many things that, you know, don't do this, don't do this, don't, then you're caught in between. Yeah, now and even the online space mm-hmm. has all sorts of mm-hmm. information out there. And yeah, it's important to also know that a lot of research is also being done. Um, so people are learning more and more, like about before milk, milk used to be, don't take any milk. Then it was take some milk and then don't take milk after 25. So there's, there's studies every time. So let's look out for the, um, updated and, uh, correct, uh, information about fitness and food and all the fads out there. Yeah. Always remember there's research being done on most of these topics, so don't be in a rush. Read deeper, seek knowledge from someone who understands more. You know, it goes a long way. Eh? But also just uh, a lot of us assume that, you know, if you don't feel so, you don't feel pains the next day, you didn't work out hard enough. You know, that's, that's another big myth that I really want to touch on. And uh, just to correct that, eh? fitness is a journey, right? And in, it, it doesn't matter that you say, if I push so hard, eh, I'll gain as much muscle within one year. You know, you know it, 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 it's a process. Just think of the process. Think long term and, and, and be honest with yourself. Eh? Some of us even end up, you know, doing crazy things to their bodies. You know, there was a documentary about Ronnie Coleman and just, you know, the things he did during his time and the effects. Yes, he was great. But at what cost? Ask yourself. You know? when you are in your 50s and your 60s you know all that heavy lifting and you didn't take good nutrition you didn't you know so there's a lot of it's a balance between how hard you push uh, how well you recover and and how well you feed you know your body your nutrition so those three things are key every time you're working out but then you know even trainers this is a big challenge to trainers trainers you know we should take pride in in ensuring that your client you know completes a session and has had fun yeah, give them give them a reason to come back yeah some people come to us and they even push and say phil uh let's just ski you know <laughs> and even some come with the same attitude and they say hey this one looks simple hey, but the effect of the workout mm-hmm. so it just depends on 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 a few things it depends on on what are you working out for you know that's one of the things eh? what are you doing and and how you twitching it up you know kongeza volume mm. how are you there's tricks that come with years of experience in the field and uh, the simpler the exercise for me always is better because exercise remember is about movement 
sport is about movement yes. you know it's about our muscles moving just remember physics and they spoke about levers you know mm. the fulcrum the pivot that's it that's all about movement about exercise and it only depends on how you position your body and just to add a bit of intensity you can either lift your let's say you're doing a push-up lift your feet higher than you know your upper body you know like use a bed a seat there are many variations of just trying to twitch it more but it doesn't mean that if you don't feel your muscles aching the next day burning yes there's what you call a plateau mm -hmm. no yata plateau mm -hmm. yeah? plateau is flat yeah so they, they you get to a point where you 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 your workout is not working you know you that's the time to go back and 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 look at your goals hmm? and seek guidance of someone who is a professional probably Mm -hmm. You know, it's a good time to change it. The moment you're doing the same thing, some of us walk into a weight room and they say, today is chest. Every Monday I must do chest. Mm -hmm. And when I'm doing chest, I must start with a flat bench press. So then I have to do the incline dump bench press. If you do that for a whole year, your body will get used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing the same five workouts all through your chest workouts. Yes. So that will force your body to... To get to that place where now there's nothing new mm. coming up mm. it flattens the curve eh? yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> we are all waiting for the yeah. curve to flatten as you wait for the curve to flatten <laughs> Flat it, it's for exercise yeah, yes, remember, you need to play around with it yes mix it up today do a body weight workout tomorrow do a weight workout to the next day go for a run you know just play with it interval training high intensity there's so many forms of exercise yeah the supersets there's many ways of playing around with it it's a, such a yeah but it's important yes but go hard eh? remember you have to go hard because uh, you know for your body like i said intensity, earlier yes. yeah, for your body to to improve for your body to improve you have to always add a bit of strain to whatever you did the previous day so that can be in terms of adding more weight to the bar could be in terms of you know doing more within a shorter period that increases the intensity so you reduce on your rest periods it could be mixing two workouts at the same time that's what you call supersets you know you move from the chest to your back workout it could be you know starting off with your cardio then going in for a weight session you know there's many ways of just playing around with it make it fun but don't assume that the day you don't feel any x yeah mm -hmm. you did something for yourself so yeah. be proud of yourself and celebrate that eh? sawa sawa <laughs> Yes, let us know uh, these 30 days that we have. Uh, yes. Uh, what are you going to do with the 30 days? Maybe let's hear that as we continue with this. What are you going to do for the what next? What am I going to do? Yes. Me as Kathy? Yes. Well, 30 days. Um, I've enrolled for a course way out of my normal skills, my day job, my, you know, just a new, a whole new uh level of learning so i'm pretty excited about that in the next 30 days um also i have been cooking great meals i've discovered new ways of making mapera others known as guavas so we're in the farm and there's so many so i learned how to make guava juice so i'm, I'm looking forward to discovering new ways of using different ingredients around the farm and also of course spending time with farm and uh, reading a lot more so that's for my 30 days yes yeah, that's good to know and, and what and about you yes even 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 it's, it's it's a good time to to bond more with the family you know like we have a teenage son and and this is a very good time to just to let him understand to get to know him to get to because he's discovering himself so it's a very crucial stage and this gives us more time to spend with him and precious and yes and even as they study from home also we become teachers you know you have to create some time and spend and spare with them just to teach them about you know the values that are important in life mm. eh? that's very important for me and also I've learned a new skill. I'm making pots. I can make flower pots now. <laughs> Do it yourself. Yeah. You know, I just went online and I decided, okay, this looks good. Inspired uh, yeah. by some friends of ours. Yes, we met some friends who are doing a very good job 
up in Kanake Gardens, a very nice, nice Beautiful garden. Beautiful place in nice. Mashakas. Just how you can use your piece of land, you know. A lot of us have chunks of land and there's nothing you're doing with it. So, so from there, I learned how to just make flower pots from cement and, and, and sand. And it's worked very well. So um, I guess I'm going to do more of that as I learn more other things. And uh, also, just to read more about fitness. You know, this is our drug. This is our food. And, and also just a chance to get deep spiritually. And, and you know, it's a good time. It's, it's a time of hibernation you know the way animals always take a break from you know they go and the hide period, during yeah. the winter for years for about six months underground then they come out that's i guess for us is that period it's, you know like noah on the ark eh? this is a time just to just to you know re, re-energize re strategize you know go deep into your energy levels and 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 sick is it's a good time to just get back to god get back yes yes it's been a good time to just get back mm. We're doing more of that today we had a very good worship we hope you had the same now that you're not going to to church you know. pastor nyeye yeah. mimi ni assistant na shikwaga sadaka <laughs> <laughs> anyway just home 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 altars and doing it yeah there's, together as a family yes, there's many things you can do as well so just be positive i know it's a very rough time most of us were expecting a, a holiday yesterday uh-uh. and, and <laughs> shock on us but just just you know there's many things that you can do in that little space that you have be creative about it read more you know whatever you wanted to do all this time this is a good time to go back and just you know you have the time to do that so Stay positive, okay? Okay, back to the myths. Yes. Uh, back to business. Please, you guys, share with us some of those myths. Mm-hmm. I want to uh, uh, share the myth about um, spot reduction. Uh, not, no, 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 not spot reduction. I already did that. Um, stretching. Stretching. And when someone ready to run, you see people already just stretching, stretching, stretching. And... You know, it's it's interesting. I think we even touched on this last week for those who had joined us. And how, how can you stretch a muscle that's not warm? How can you use a metal that hasn't been, you know, warm. under the fire? Mm-hmm. So just think about that piece of metal. And that's how your body is. For it to be more effective, warm up. Warm up properly. It, it doesn't even take a, t- a lot of time. Three to five minutes is enough for warm up, raising the heart rate, preparing it for the workout. So that's why we we warm up to reduce the chances of injury, and then we also stretch to reduce the chances of injury. So warm up, uh, and then stretch, and then do your main workout. So avoid stretching before you exercise. It, stretching is not a warm up. Stretching is uh, important to do after your body has warmed up properly. Do very, you want to say anything true, else on that? True. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, the importance of stretching, you know, apart from just warming up and uh, apart from, you know, you know, the importance of the warm up, sorry, the importance of the warm up is also for your mind. Eh? Mm. You know, like, for instance, if I just got into a I gym, wish, it takes mm. time to switch on. And, and with a good warm up, it, it makes the workout easier for me yeah by the time you warmed up nicely and you know you get into the workout and also it's good to prevent even the injuries you know when the muscles are warmed up that means yeah, you're good to go you can keep going keep going guys warm up yeah warming up means even just a skipping rope you know warming up could be just body movements eh? Warming up, it has to be gradual as well. You know, yeah. just build up slowly. For most trainers, what we do is when we have a class and we're giving you a warm up, we'll use the moves that are going to be in class, but simplified, just yeah. to get you ready into that workout, mm. into that mood. Eh? Mm. So it's important that you do that, always warm up, but most important, stretch and also have a cool down. You know, the moment you warm, then you work out for a duration. Your body has to go back to the normal resting heart rate, eh? yeah. and also give it time. Slow it down slowly. Don't be in a rush. You just finished your workout. You want to jump into a shower. Take your time. Yeah. Let your body cool down slowly. You know, then it, it's it's healthy to do that. Yes. Okay. Sour sour. As we continue, another myth. You uh, have a m- another myth. Another myth. It was my turn before. Okay. So I think guys really really assume that to build muscles you have to take supplements. Mm-hmm. 
or to lose weight you have to take fat burners you know yeah. there's a lot of that that's going around and and you meet someone who just started working out the other day and they're like okay philip which is the best supplement yeah sometimes i wish i was selling those supplements <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a millionaire <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but you know this is for us this is a calling you know this is, this is something that we do and you're passionate about mm-hmm. and then then and i've done it you know without the supplements you know i've worked out it's taken me long eh? did you ever take supplements i tried i tried a whey protein somewhere i tried uh which one was this eh? Eh? you know during our days i was a rugby player before i got into fitness really eh? and 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 we didn't know much about supplements you know we didn't even have physio therapists eh? mm. so it was it was a different kind of setup hmm? but it gave us a sort of work ethic you know you know you you know that you have to push yourself to get there because mm-hmm. there's nothing you're looking at but guys now are into shortcuts you know mm. it's okay to use them but even, even even before you work out <laughs> you should even get the consent of a doctor just find out you know okay this is why i need to train <laughs> before you come to that gym and and if your intention is to be competitive in competitive sports let's say bodybuilding you know mm. a rugby player you know and some you know there's a lot of banned substances as well that are very harmful to your bodies some of those products will not say that they have this and this and this and this just get sick further you know guidance from a professional just to understand what you're taking into your body because yeah. what you eat this is your body you have control over what you eat and and sometimes you want to take in so much protein that your body does not need it only mm. need what it needs it only use what kidneys. it needs yeah? mm. yes and just think of someone who drinks every day you know mm. what happens to their liver what happens to their systems what happens to their kidneys you know mm. that kind of strain think of uh, when it comes to supplement for me i look at a taxi driver you know and and someone who was uh, and and your personal car you know there's a big difference. This taxi guy has to move around up, down, up, down through the day. Or look even at the matatu. You know, a matatu. It has to go for service every other weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So think of it. If you don't need it, yeah? if you, your, your personal car and you can't take it for service every other month, yeah. you know. So just think of supplementation in the same way. If you need it and you're pushing hard for your gains and you're going in for competition, well and good. You know, you can... You can your body you're will adding need. on to yes. what you, the natural food. These are just artificial foods, that, and some of them are also they have uh, natural uh, qualities in them. Where there's protein, supplements are just additional to your main meals. So it's just that your body um, is not re- getting the required amount of nutrition. So that's why athletes supplement. So yeah, like you said, seek consultation before you do supplementation. Because you only need to supplement your body is lacking. You know, what, 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 what is it that you're deficient in? So before you find out, before you get tested, how will you know what your body needs more than the other? So you might just be supplementing because someone else is using it and you don't need it. You might need supplements for recovery. You might need supplements that are intra. You know, you use them during the workout and you're going in for supplement that will help you. So it's, it's good to know why you need it before you use it. And, and stay safe. It's your health at the end of the yeah. day. Control what goes down your system because there's no need of doing it for five years. You know, that's why I give the good example of Ronnie Coleman. He was eight times Mr. Olympia. And we really celebrate him. <laughs> but when you look back at, you know, all the hard work, eh? when you look back at all the gains, and now he's, you know, he's paying for it. You know, you know we pray for him that he can recover from this. And it's good to see him come back to working out. But he's speaking the truth. He's telling guys that if you don't need some of these things, you know, some people go beyond. Why do you want to put steroids into your system? Why do you want to, you know, you know shortcuts will always have their consequences. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So make a wise choice. Make a wise choice. For Young those guys. who don't know who Ronnie Coleman is, mm-hmm. please Google. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google. So, yeah. so, so I hope I hope that was good enough on supplementation and and it's good to see someone comment here that they're going to do their virtual lessons eh, for these thirty days. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, Survivor. Yeah. that's good. It's good. Elvis says, "Hey, the last time he worked out was years ago." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. Join us. We will pray for Phil you. Phil has eh? a good class. There's in a the class morning. that I do in the morning. If yeah. You're a morning person. There's a class that I do at every six thirty. Monday to Friday at six thirty in the morning. You know, for the early team, we meet and you know the thanks to technology. Team Rauka. <laughs> thanks to technology from yeah. whatever part of the world you can do it and and and. We try and make it basic, and we also use easy options that you can find at home. You know, a broomstick. We can use uh, water bottles. You know, we can use your. your own body weight. I love to use the body weight, and this seems to be the most challenging part for most guys. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, so you feel free to join us for those sessions wherever you can. Yeah. She has a Saturday dance class. Yeah, yes. this Saturday was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, with the aerobic uh, team, and. Please join us. This one, this one is not charged. It's on the house because there are people who we support, and whatever little you're able to send to us for that class, we appreciate it and we send it straight to our artists. Yes, the drummers and the percussionists. So this this is in supporting. This is what Afrobix does: support other people, support their their skill and their livelihoods, especially during this COVID-19 period. Yeah, back to the myths. We're about to, it's almost yes, time. Yeah, we have about 10 minutes to go. <laughs> yes. So we want you to tell us that one myth that it really has been a bother for you, eh? I think Austin has one. Uh-huh. Austin, eh, kobampa na sisi leo. This is nice. <laughs> Myth, ya madem, naweza lose fats, costoma carrier alone. And maintain the other body parts vile ziko to it. <laughs> That's what she was talking about. Kathy mentioned yeah. about sport reduction. Because yeah. ladies will come and say, hey, Phil, apa, Tumbo tu, apa, 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 staki, <laughs> like, uku, 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 chini. uku, zibuze. <laughs> and now you're confused as a trainer. And, and, and sometimes you don't even know what to tell them. Eh? But it's good she tackled that. And she said, sport reduction is a myth. It's a big myth because your body will lose evenly. Yeah. yeah. Some people gain for men, I know, around the neck. Do you shy in gear? Kagari kasha in gear. Nanza manyama zinanza kutokea huku. But I think also chest, kidogo, also eh? age eh? Eh? because eh? the way an an eighteen to twenty five the metabolic rate of a of a young person, and after you hit forty, metabolism slows down. So your metabolism. <laughs> The metabolism down. So as he sings, <laughs> just be knowing your metabolism slows down as you grow older. So as you grow uh, older, you're gonna slow down. So a good way to increase your metabolism is through exercise. And yes, your lifestyle makes a whole lot of difference. If you're eating rich foods in high sugar, high fat you will put on weight and it will go in the areas that are where it's where genetic. It yes. It looks and, for and genetically, some people, like we said, are apple shape and some people are pear shape. Sasa, kwa sababu wanaume, hawana my hips. Inya umna hips. It won't go down there. It will just go around the tummy. Mm. So that's why a lot of men put it around the tummy and then the neck just fills out. So, be warned. <laughs> so, so, just as we wind up, I think it's important to know that weight gain or weight loss is not just, it's not a measure of how fit, eh, you know, or yes. how healthy you are. Eh? Yeah. And that's also another myth I think a lot of us, you know, we always think, even the reason why people look at a gym as a very, very mean place is because, you know, you're going there just to lose weight. You, you know, you're already stressed with that kind of information yeah, eh? yeah. or because you've been challenged somewhere and you're a young man you just feel like hey that 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 lady that that girl mm-hmm. eh? uh-huh. eh? oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's, <laughs> there's more to being healthy yeah there's more to wellness than just you know having or losing muscles or gaining or you no know, it, it, it's it's more important that it, you whatever you're confident in you know yes. it's your body Mm. At the end of the day, you it's it's good to appreciate who you are, yes, and uh, you know even just awareness of you whatever who you are as a person, you know you really need to have that deep understanding of yourself so that mm-hmm. is not on the don't just focus on the physical. Yeah, you know, exercise you know? does not change who you are. It should just 
compliment it gives you just an addition of confidence it just helps you carry your your body weight confidently some people are big and they're still confident because they feel healthy and happy within themselves so just the fact that you are going to the gym or not it should not reduce on your on who you are as a person so yeah enjoy and celebrate yourself in the words of the great sage mr phil exercise is a celebration of what your body can do yes always remember that of what your body can always do remember such that. great words thank you for mm. that mm. maybe another myth before we finish about um that aerobic exercise is more beneficial than strength training and a lot a lot of people who go for the group classes feel no 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 if i go for the exercise with I, the I, class I sweat more. i'm going to sweat more i burn more calories than the people in the then when i go to the gym because they don't see the trickling of sweat we are busting that myth yeah because it's not it's not true just the fact that you go for a class and you sweat or even just the signs of sweat you can be sweating because you're, you're overdressed Yeah, yeah so guys mean... who wear hoods all the way, you know, finger dirisha, eh? you don't want any heat to go from your body. You know, relax, <laughs> relax. Sorry to love, you know, relax, eh? I see so many people wanting to sweat. Mbako na ingia steam bath, ndo usweat. Ama sauna ndo usweat, uban fat. Let me tell you, you're losing water. And some people can sweat just by sitting where we are and you you're sweating because... That's how your body is it just perspires more you can just drive in a car and sweat so sweat is not a sig- signal of oh, how hard you work yes right? the effectiveness of your exercise it's um it's just it, the aerobic exercises is what i was touching on so aerobic exercise as compared to strength training so they are both important however it's it's uh, very key to take note that when you do exercises that um build the muscle uh, such as strength training the effectiveness of that exercise like now hit is the high intensity interval training is really really a great way of um burning fat even more than just the aerobic exercises so look look at different comp- components of exercise when you are exercising and i think t- uh, feel touched on that so so thoroughly it's his mantra about the components of fitness do you want to just yes, mention yes, yes, those yes, yes. it's important either way because some say the strength is more important than the aerobic or the aerobic is They're more important, all important. Yeah? you know there's more to that yeah? just be holistic about it yes. look at uh, even your flexibility look at your mobility you know some of these things we discovered way late yeah. i was one of those guys who just thought weights is on a woman dance Stretching. na aerobics na all those Stretch. uh, class things is on is a madam and and stretching ah ni chama hata ku train sina time ya ku stretch so all these things <laughs> it's taken us time to even discover as and i said we, are, we, we learn we you. learn every day yeah. and that's why we are we are privileged to share this information yes. with you because our own bodies have been like the lab mm-hmm. you know? the things this body has gone through <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and and it helped even to go to back to school and just get the knowledge you know yes. understand why is this done this way and why is this done this way yeah. you know we had the same questions and the same thoughts that you guys have mm-hmm. but now with the experience the skills the knowledge from school it's really been important it's helped for us to share the information that we're sharing with you yeah. so whatever time you think aerobics class is more important try and do the weight class as well yes. so the guys who come for monday tuesday you don't see them on thursday because it's toning you don't see them on you know the other day because it's a it's a circuit you need they're all you, very they're important all very important for you so yes. none is better than the other those five components look in the previous um talk that we had we did talk about the five components of fitness so please check that out and let us know if you are engaging in that and just remember you know it's not about the gym membership it's not about the trainer mm-hmm. the determination you know the motivation from yes. the game the consistency it's worth more than any of those it's worth more than a gym membership it's worth more than you know yes everything else that you think of just keep it simple 
stay healthy, mm-hmm. stay safe. Apart yeah. from just the COVID, we don't want you to be training from home, <laughs> then you come back to your gyms injured. Eh? Yeah. Take it easy, build up. When you need to seek friends, don't be afraid to reach out. You can always call us on 7 8029 or even check our website. You know, you can go to afrobixfit.org. You can check Feel Fitness Center. Yeah. org. Center with ER. Yeah. Just the same way our name of the page that you're on. So feel free. Go online. Reach out. There's so much you can do. So thank you for your time. Thank you. It's already five. Thank it you can so, be so much short, hmm? for engaging with us. Let's keep chatting. Let's keep talking. Let us know what are the other myths that you've been hearing about. Is it true? Is it false? Yeah, and let's keep the conversation. Next week, we'll have a great topic for you. Don't so miss out. Don't miss out. Don't very, miss very engaging. Out. Don't miss out. Eh? And, and yeah, keep uh, talking to us and let us know how this show is blessing you. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, Enjoy wherever you're evening. watching from. Bye.